Hello, I'm Silas from Skahoy. I would like to show you how you uh, create feedback or uh, basically anything inside Reactor where you need to combine two different uh, parameters from a device call. In this case, it is for TriCaster, how to read out the downstream key text uh, for the specific uh, name for the specific selected device. So why not uh, jump into it? All right, so here I have my uh, setup. I have uh, selected this button, downstream key one, and I have this text called DSK1. Pretty simple. I want this uh, change, uh, and I can do this uh, clicking the button, add dynamic value, uh, go into device call. Uh, in this case, I'll select my uh, select uh, advanced, that's the way Let's just take that. So if you select a call and select it here, you talk to this specific device. If you instead uh, use the select call advanced and use the variable normally um, in our default configs, it is the device index, then you will talk to the specific device uh, you have selected if you're using multiply devices. All right, when that is set up, I would like to uh, read the downstream key source. I want that to be for my main ME and I want to read out for downstream key number one and press submit. When that is done, I'll have a readout and in a moment you'll see that uh, the text here will update uh, to the selected source. I can just check if my tricaster is up that is loading in the background. So, uh, at the meantime, we can uh, set up here that we want a name. So why not click Add Dynamic uh, Label? I could go up here to the load previous, and if I hit the down arrow, then uh, just with the mouse to hover over it, then I can select from this list. So I can select the same, then I have set up my device index, and I can go in here, update name, I want the long name like this. And then for now, I'll just say for input one, that's fine. I'll click submit, submit, and now that's updated. So now I have uh, two different parts. Uh, so at the first line, we read out the downstream key one. I can even show that to you here. Downstream key one have source number two selected. Uh, and um, I have name for input one. But that's not what we want. We want the source for downstream key one who is, is selected now to be the one we see the name for. And that's not doable uh, right now in the interface. So let's just scroll down and find the JSON editor. All right, when I've built these uh, two lines, it is very simple for me to say the, la the one here, that is the number I'm using to identify what number I'm uh, using. And I have built that on text line one. So in that way, it's pretty simple for me to copy this, uh, including these special uh, clamps, tube or clamor, we call them in Denmark, uh, fill it in, copy paste, and press save. If I do this, then it should update the text on the uh, second uh, row, you can see that now, to reply for input two, or especially to reply for the selected downstream key. So if I change it to input one, I know that have a different name like that, then you can see it updates instantly. So that is how simple you can set that up if you need to combine different things in different ways. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.